Hey guys, look what I got for you here today. This is the project that my regulars, remember, this is the truck that had a hurt frame, let's just call it that. Uh, yeah, a lot of work went into this truck, we got her done, and I figured I'd kill two birds with one stone. First things first, before I sell it, I'll give you all an update on it, and uh, I guess those are the two birds. I'm selling this truck, and I'm gonna update y'all for my regulars being curious. This is the 2018 3500 with the Nissan that I bought from an auction to restore. That front bumper made me a believer, the one that it was on this vehicle. It's like one of them stock, livestock or whatever, bull bars. It's like this metal bumper with a big old thing on the top. I don't know what's the proper terminology for it, but you know what I'm saying. I call it a livestock bumper. So it took the hit, took, you know, bent the frame. So what I, I went around, got a couple quotes on getting the frame fixed on it. It wasn't, I don't know what I mean, I didn't feel comfortable with that because from the get go, I was restoring it for myself. Um, so I went out and got a whole frame, meaning a fresh, clean frame. I don't know if you guys can tell, probably on the backside, you can tell better. By the way, when you're buying trucks, take a good look at that frame. Look at all this. This is a good old clean frame. Nothing bubbling, nothing going to crap. It was a very clean frame. I got it over there south, uh, Hurricane Utah. I was going to say south of Utah, but Hurricane Utah, you know, pretty clean climb, dry climbing out there. So when I was like, what was I talking about? The, the frame. So got a nice new frame in here. My guys finally put this thing together, and I just took it out for a few days to work out all the gremlins, making a list of things I want to address. One of my regulars uh, contacted me about my silver truck. My regulars now. So I bought this one in a silver one to work on and uh to restore for my company he called me he's like dude i need a truck i need a truck so i sold him that truck as soon as my guys put it together so the part that i'm doing to this truck right now driving around all you know for the next few days making a list of things that I need to get addressed i never did that on the truck man and i felt bad the guy was pushing me in a way like dude i need a truck i need a truck he showed up the truck was ready but it wasn't like test driven for a few days to work all out the gremlins so i ain't doing that to nobody with this one even my own guy that kept insisting me to sell him and we had a deal something happened in his life he couldn't come through on that um i told him i'll drive the truck for a week and get all the gremlins out of it and then we will shoot let me zoom out or walk back and we will uh hand this over to you once we're ready and something happened to him he couldn't pull the trigger now so yeah here it is i'm gonna put it up for sale my regulars know I run a hot shot company. So one of two things is gonna happen. Either I'm gonna sell it for the right price or I'm gonna put a driver in it. So if you're curious on buying this thing, the bed's original. These doors are original, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, there it was body work done back here on the back side. I just took this thing through a car wash a couple hours ago. There's no leaks. And I stand behind that. That was important for me to make sure there's no leaks. I'm really impressed for this thing to be just put together and for it to go down the road the way it does. No rattling, no pulling, no hopping. You know, it, it really shows its mileage. 50,000 miles is not that much. So with that in mind, uh, there you have it, you know. 50,000 miles on the truck. I don't know the current state of the title clean or rebuilt doesn't matter to me it's rebuilt because i restored this truck new frame uh fixed up the cab there's no i mean i did i did excessive speed on the freeway and nothing's you know whistling or, or howling or anything like that so you know i stand behind it after we get all the gremlins i will feel perfectly fine getting uh getting this truck handed down to to the to the owner or to the driver so Looks like we need to fix that clip in there. Anyways, guys, 50 that well, 51,000 miles, and there you have it. It's a Laramie. I'll walk around inside. It has not been detailed. I just wiped it down real quick. There's something about this truck I really like. <laughs> you know, you've heard stories how people uh, say so much good things about their own product that they end up keeping it and they convince themselves to keep it. You know, I'm honestly putting this thing up for sale. And it'll go up for sale tonight in the local market. And if you guys on YouTube want to contact me in the description, there's going to be an uh, email there. You can contact me that way. Shoot me your offer. And please, guys, please, if you're going to shoot me an offer, make sure you can back it up, you know. Make sure you're ready to write that check and 
come pick up the truck. I do have the title on, on hand. Uh, as I said, ice and tranny Cummins truck or Cummins engine. There is a traction light. I'm gonna get this thing in the shop for. I don't like that. Well, that's all disappears. That light, a little bit of washing fluid. But, you know, you got your basic amenities, you know, heated, cooled, heated, cooled, you know, passenger, driver's side, and all this stuff. It does not, what it's missing is the air suspension and auxiliary switches. Those are the two options. Oh, no sunroof. No sunroof for this thing, which is pretty surprising for a Laramie. <coughs> Those auxiliary switches are, it's not like they're uncommon, but they're uncommon in a way. So auxiliary switch is not really a thing, but air suspension. If you, if for for me, it's a good thing. For some people, really like to have their factory stuff. Um, what am I trying to do here? Oh, tires need sensors. I need to go on my hit list. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Traction light needs to be addressed. Oh, man, I don't know what all y'all. Oh, shoot, I never showed you the back. I never showed you the back, did I? Um, I don't know what I could all show you. Oh, I'll smell some beans on you. My regulars know. No, I did show you the back. Yeah, I did show you the back. These are mud flaps. So I'll spill some beans on you. Those are the mud flaps for the fifth gens. Uh, I just picked up, well, I ordered a while back three mega cabs, 322 mega cabs. This is the main reason why I can't jump on this truck and just put a driver in here. I got to take care of my mega cabs and then take care of this. So I'll need a few weeks to get that addressed. So if an offer comes through solid, I'll do that. Or if a solid driver comes through, I'll just put a driver in here. I absolutely have no problem keeping this truck. Um, but I know a lot of you guys are surprised. I actually have plenty of trucks right now. And the way things have been going in my life, a little bit too extreme on the busy side of things running multiple companies I, I gotta say it for you guys to comprehend what i'm, I'm what i'm implying here it, it is buck wild <sighs> short staffed and all that so god bless you guys whoever's working with me i know a lot of my guys watch me god bless you and i'm full like sincerely thankful for all you guys do and help me out with uh so if you're local you want to join the team holler holler at us in the email uh that's a in every video there's an email in the description so just shoot email that way email that way but yeah man so yeah we'll uh we'll get this thing aligned we'll run it through the shop get all the little lights figured out little gremlins and uh go from there as always guys may the lord bless you may almighty fine day ciao bye